हेलो ऑल माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन आई वेलकम यू बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मॉडर्न इंग्लिश विथ खंडू दयाल डियर फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज लाइक शेयर कॉमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल टू गेट मोर वीडियोज डियर फ्रेंड्स वी हैव सीन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ वेजिंग टूवर्ड्स एक्सलेंट बाय अच्युत गुडबले इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैड सीन दैट मीन्स हाउ वॉज हिज हाउस सिचुएशन एंड इन वॉट वे ही took the education that is what we had seen in the first part even we have understood how he developed a problem solving attitude and what achievements he could get in mathematics see all sorts of things we have seen in the first part means a kind of journey or kind of struggle of his life that we have seen in the first part and still we are continuing now we are going to see the second part of the same lesson in the first part we have seen that how a writer stood first in the university and what situation he faces and the lack of knowledge let's see he stood first in the university and there was a condition in those days there was a rule in those days whoever stood first in the university need not have to appear for the entrance test to get into iit to get the admission into iit so he says therefore i did not have to appear for the entrance test to get the admission into iit but nobody in solapur told me about it and as he know that there was no one in the solapur who could tell him about this rule that if the students stood first in the university then he or she need not have to appear for the entrance examinations but for i doubt if anybody in solapur even knew about this rule and he thought that nobody from solapur is even aware about this rule and therefore i appear for the entrance examinations and i secure a very good rank in the same and that's how even he did not have any kind of idea about that rule that conditions he appeared for the entrance examinations and secure a very very good rank in the same examination I was quite happy getting into IIT but my joy was short lived and a writer writer become very very happy as he got the admission into IIT but his joy was short lived at Solapur I had not even I have not seen any building which was more than 3 storied Mumbai however was full of skyscrapers now that was the reason behind his short lived life that in solapur he had seen only three storied building but when it comes to mumbai he could see there was a tall and huge buildings like skyscrapers at iit most of the students and professors used to converse in english whereas my english was very very poor and uh, he started analyzing himself right means what sort of experience he got and he started analyzing he started observing each and every one the people from mumbai right everyone was conversing in english and when it comes to the writer's english that was a very very poor that he was not that much good in english conversation he was so poor he was so weak in english conversations as he had his entire education in marathi my spoken english was quite pathetic not only did i have a very weak vocabulary but my pronunciation also was terrible and my constructions of english sentences very awkward to say the least and the writer is expressing his grief his pathetic situation that he not only ha- has the weak vocabulary but sentence constructions as well and pronunciation as well being a marathi medium students that he was not able to speak that much fluently as the students of mumbai university or mumbai from mumbai they used to speak a very fluent english and in front of those students the writer was nowhere that he was a marathi medium students and he was not able to speak that much fluently that his uh, pronunciation was not that much good and he started feeling a complex in him due to all these i was feeling quite lonely and terrified in mumbai in general and iit in particular i had developed a kind of inferiority complex and i wanted to run away from iit and even mumbai and that 
that was the reason behind his short lived happiness why he started feeling inferiority complex he feeling what as if he is a lonely and terrified in mumbai right he started developing a kind of complex in he in him that he is not at all a good he is not at all a good in english and because of that only he started feeling lonely that nobody is there to understand him that was the reason behind his unhappiness and the writer started developing inferiority complex a kind of attitude in which he feels that i am nowhere i am not able to do this and that that is what a complex that he started developing one day i was sitting on my mess table in the hostel sipping tea when a senior guy came and sat on the chair adjacent to me one day what happened the writer was sitting in his mess on the table and he was just taking a tea what happened next a senior guy came and sat on the chair near to the writer he was a convenient educated guy with fairly sophisticated english at least spoken or colloquial english and that guy was from convenient english right english medium school and they started talking to each other as the writer uh, was sitting in his mess and he was just sipping a tea when that guy came and sit adjacent to the writer he was a convenient educated guy with a fairly sophisticated english now the word sophisticated what does that mean sophisticated sophisticated means obtained a worldly experience that the guy have was having an experience a worldly experience in english at least spoken or colloquial english he was a bit arrogant and wanted to pull my leg now that guy that convert guy was arrogant arrogant means having excessive pride in oneself and that guy who was from convent educated school or convent school he was a quite bit arrogant arrogant means because he was a uh, very good in english and that's why he uh, was having a kind of excess pride in himself and he started pulling the writer's leg he tried to engage in some conversations with me and started pointing out errors in the just about every sentences or everything that i said after about 5 minutes he walked away after insulting me and that convent educated guy came and started conversing with the writer and he started every now and then pointing out and errors and mistakes in the conversation of the writer and he started kind of insult insulting the writer and after 5 minute after insulting the writer the guy went away I felt extremely humiliated and upset and because of that the writer felt very humiliated grieved and sad and pathetic as it is I was feeling quite depressed and defiant and this incident was the last straw as the writer is that much sad and he is suffering a lot because of his english and as he is he was not that much good in english because of that only he has to suffer a lot and it is a kind of depressed feeling that he was having and i was feeling quite depressed and defiant the word defiant defiant means lacking confidence because the writer was not having that much confident and he get into depression and this incident was the last straw i was almost broken i felt out of place there and literally wanted to run away to solapur and that very moment and he was totally devastated he totally destroyed and he totally uh losen his experience his confidence everything and he was almost broken all at all and he was feeling that he should supposed to leave the mumbai and go to the solapur however it was only my self esteem which stopped me and that was the reason self esteem was the reason that stopped him from going back to this native place suddenly a feeling of determination and strength came over me and gripped me 
suddenly what happened a kind of feeling a feeling of not giving up came into the writer aroused in the writer and that was the reason that that was the reason that he will not go away he will not go to his native place and he was became a kind of determined having a strength and he started developing again despite hailing from solapur if i could be a rank holder in the school college and iit with many awards in mathematics there must be something right with me and he started analyzing himself because the writer was having many awards and many such things there must be something right with me and he started feeling that if at all i am having every things then there would be something with me something nice with me there must be something right with me why should i give up and he started analyzing that there are many things with me then why should i leave why should i give up and that too for a silly and a small thing like english and that too for a small silly things like english why should i leave why should i give up such things that too for a small and silly thing like english so i will work on my english i will work work on my weakness if english is my weakness then i will work on english and i will get into the english and i will be a perfect in english that was the determination that he had made I was not to give up any any more, and I was determined to fight back, and that is the reason that he determined. He decided that he was a firm. He made a resolution that he will be a perfect in English. He will be a good in English, and that is what his his determination was. As I climbed the stairs of my hostel room, my plan was ready in my mind. Normally, most of us who are educated in vernacular languages such as Marathi. think in marathi before speaking in english and as the writer was climbing the upstairs of his hostel there was a plan in his mind now what plan it was that normally most of us who are educated in vernacular languages such as marathi they think in marathi before speaking in english now he started analyzing he started observing the people who have taken their education into vernacular that is their native language because they have a kind of attitude they have a kind of habit that whenever they used to speak in english but before that they used to think in marathi and then afterwards they try to translate those sentences into english and they try to speak translate it in english and then somehow try to speak out these translated english sentences in an extremely awkward fashion what happens the writer says that those people who have taken their education into vernacular they have a kind of habit attitude that they think in marathi and after that they try to translate those version into english those sentences into english and they try to speak in awkward fashion that they speak in awkwardly that is what the problem was I had decided that I would do nothing of this sort and the writer decided that he will not do of that sort anything I wanted to achieve excellence and that the writer wanted to achieve the excellence in English this urge to excel in anything that you try to do has been with me since the childhood and the attitude or a kind of things that whatever you are going to do you should supposed to go beyond what you are doing and that was a kind of attitude since the childhood and the writer is just analyzing himself that that was the attitude that was the things that i had learned since my childhood i have never ever give up such things whether i would succeed in this or not i always set my aims high and the writer say that whether i will be successful or not i will always set the aim very high In this case too I wanted to speak excellent elegant and fluent english and in this case too the english is the case that in which I wanted to be a excellent speaker excellent fluent elegant in english the first thing i did was to start reading english newspapers and the first thing that the writer has started is the reading of newspaper english newspaper and english novels and he started reading english newspaper and english novels now what happened because 
because of the reading of english newspaper and english novels he started developing his vocabulary and a novel sentence constructions then definitely it would help him to be a perfect in english i studied etymology and phonetics and studied the roots of the words and how to pronounce them and as he had developed and he had decided to be a perfect in english that he started learning different concepts in english language that is etymology phonetics and all those things he started a learning i used to stand in front of the mirror and practice speaking realizing my mistakes and correcting them myself all the time and improvising and improving day by day and the writer started speaking english he started practicing in front of mirror and wherever he finds that he made a mistake he started correcting himself and that was the reason behind his success that he had struggled a lot he had he has strived a lot to be a perfect in english as even he had learned many small small concept in english language in grammar phonetics and such things It took about 9 to 10 months by which time I started feeling quite confident about speaking in English at length with anybody. Now almost near about 9 to 10 months it has taken to be a good in English to be a fluent in English. Now the writer has acquired a good command on English language. Now he was feeling that much confident to speak in English with anybody. my fear had vanished and i started feeling at home in my hostel now the fear of english the writer has overcome and he started feeling at home in my hostel now the way we feel at home in the same way he started feeling at the hostel he started feeling very happy excited in his hostel in my future career after 30 Two years in information technology field, I was the chief executive for managing director, right? And he has worked as CEO and managing director of his thirty-two years in the information technology, or head of a software company with thousands of software engineers worldwide. And he had also worked as the managing director of the software company. During that period, I had to. give several presentation or negotiate many contracts with the ceos directors or vps in the united states uk or australia and in those 32 years he had visited many countries foreign countries wherein he had to negotiate he had to uh, give a presentation and uh, he had to do a negotiation that is the transaction or transact the business and uh, such sorts of things he had to do in his 32 years experience in his life i was absolutely at ease at that time but the word is at ease means in a relaxed position in a relaxed manner so he was absolutely relaxed at the time it is only due to the efforts at iit that i could sign contracts with millions of dollars worldwide and also run a large global software companies now why did all become possible because the efforts the endeavor that he has taken when he was in iit that all matters a lot because if he wouldn't have taken that much efforts in iit then he would not have been able to do a lot many things in the year right in those years that was the reason behind his success at iit i got fairly good marks in my first two years However a very important thing happened while I was in my third year I came in contact with about 50 to 20 extremely brilliant students researchers professors from IIT TIFR and BARC Now he is analyzing he just observing his career means what had happened in the past life at iit i got fairly good marks in my first two years now the writer is analyzing that even he was in iit now the first two years he couldn't get good marks however a very important thing happened 
while I was in a third year and the very important and good things happened when he was in third year. I came in contact with about 50-20 extremely brilliant students and the writer came into, into contact with the 20 extremely brilliant, intelligent, smart researchers and professors right, from IIT, T, IFR and BRC that they included top ranking students from IIT, visiting professors in American universities and very renowned mathematicians in the world and so on. And what happened when he was in the third year that he could meet all these great persons, students, researchers, professors and because of that his life has entirely changed. I hope dear friends you would have understood the lesson. If you have understood the lesson please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you so much.